Top speeds will be a talking point with a change to the drop gear ratio predicted for this year's Repco Bathurst 1000. Mount Panorama had the highest of any of the mandatory odds set by supercars, which applied equally to Ford and Chevrolet at any circuit. It required 2023 operations manual 0.931. This raises question of whether third-gen supercars will be able to break 300 km per hour figure at end of Conrod Strait. A longer drop gear means a higher top speed all other things being equal. But that much may be academic due to the trade-off of slower acceleration. Indeed, the last time supercars mandated a higher gear ratio at Bathurst in 2015 the 300 km per hour figure was elusive. Supercars made this change in third year of car of future to reduce time engines spent on rev limiter before turning into Conrod straight, thus improving reliability. However, COTF was so representative of era that Ford Falcons and Holden Commodores of period retained their 5.0-liter pushrod engines from Project Blueprint era. While new for 2023 third-generation Mustang was powered by a Coyote-derived 5.4-liter engine. Camaro with double overhead cam unit and 5.7-liter pushrod LTR. Drop gear has been moved up a step higher in many events so far at Simmons Plains and Sandown, which both feature long straights. Sandown also has a relatively long trough plane, while Mount Panorama boasts the 1,111-kilometer mountain plane and the 1,916-kilometer Conrod plane. Teams will still need to get 0.931 drop gear and 1,000 as official support rates for the Bathurst. 1,000. The number mandatory pit stops for Sandown 500 and Bathurst 1,000 has not yet been confirmed. But in Bathurst 1,000 front bumper replacement was mandated at some point from start of lap 55 to end lap 120. This marks a change from last year when the mandatory brake service was rotor replacement rather than just pads. Preenduro tests begin this Monday, with the Sandown 500 on September 15-17 and the Bathurst 1000 on October 58.